Montpelier, Governor Phil Scott reflecting on his first 100 days in office, and as you might expect, he thinks the news is pretty good. Scott said he's keeping his pledge to focus on revving up the state economy. He notes he's made three trade trips so far to Canada while pushing lawmakers to hold the line on spending. Scott saying he will reject any bill that raises fees or taxes. Says he's still working hard to pass his $35 million affordable housing initiative, which is facing some resistance at the Capitol. And he's not happy the House blocked his order to merge the state liquor and lottery operation into one, which he insists could generate up to $4 million in taxpayer savings and new revenue. The liquor and lottery has been a, a source of frustration for me, for me because uh, it just seems to make so much sense. I just, it's something we've talked about for the last 10 years in this building, and then all of a sudden it's a, it's a problem. They want to study it more. But uh, I think there's some, some hope in the Senate uh, that we'll be able to push forward on that initiative. But, you know, I, I respect the process. Scott said there is a constitutional question involved, whether the House alone can block a governor's executive order, but he doesn't want to go to court to test it, preferring instead to work with the legislature to get the merger done. Speaker Mitzi Johnson says the House was simply not persuaded the merger would produce any savings or efficiency. Also today, the governor said he views almost every proposal he sees through a simple formula he's devised called 631. Vermont's losing six people from its workforce every day, sees three fewer kids in public schools, and sees one new baby born each day that's been exposed to opiates. That 631 formula, he says, helps him define the urgent problems that matter most to the state.